This week, does a reverse mortgage transform debt into an asset? Welcome back to the Industry Leader Update. The latest inflation numbers are in and they're downright unsettling, especially for retired Americans living on a fixed income. Last week, inflation in the U.S. jumped to its highest level since January 1982. CNN Business reports the Consumer Price Index rose 7.9% in the last 12 months. The Bureau of Labor and Statistics tracks consumer costs using what they call a basket of goods. And that basket is heavily influenced by housing and rental costs, food, and energy, each which have skyrocketed in the last year. Now, for example, energy costs have spiked by 25% from February 2021 to February 2022. And that number does not include the 70 cent per gallon surge in the price of gas at the pump just last week alone. Now, the honest truth is inflation is going to be with us for some time and it's not going to go away quickly. Prudent older Americans should be preparing for a continued increase in their cost of living. So how does a reverse mortgage transform mortgage debt into an asset? If you define asset as a benefit to the borrower, then it certainly does. Now, if you use the accounting definition of an asset, we find that a reverse mortgage is not an asset at all that offsets actual liabilities. However, what a reverse mortgage does do is provide the asset or benefit of increased cash flow. A homeowner refinancing their existing traditional mortgage into a reverse, it allows them to stop making required monthly principal and interest payments altogether. And that is why the reverse mortgage borrower is never going to receive a payment booklet or coupon booklet to make those regular payments each month or any payments whatsoever. Now, can the borrower choose to make a payment on a reverse? Of course. And just like any mortgage, that homeowner must continue to pay their property taxes and homeowner's insurance to avoid defaulting on the loan. That applies for all mortgages. Now, what about the homeowner that has no mortgage balance? They've paid it off. Now, if they've retired and they're likely living on a fixed income, maybe they can't absorb the erosion of the U.S. dollar. And when the cost of filling their gas tank increases by $50 in a month, where are they going to find the extra money to help make up the difference, even without a mortgage? Now, what expenses can they realistically begin to cut? And how far are older homeowners willing to give up the things that give them a sense of a quality of life, such as eating out occasionally, or driving to visit grandchildren and family, or social engagements. At what point does paying off a mortgage for those that have one become more important than one's own happiness or sense of well-being? Inflation is likely to worsen, and it's going to force many older Americans to become miserly or creative. The creative option is more widely available thanks to today's low interest rates and high home values. However, with the Federal Reserve announcing their plan to enact a series of interest rate hikes to rein in inflation, that window of opportunity is closing fast. Transforming mortgage debt into the asset of a loan with no required installment payments, that not only frees up much needed cash each month, but it allows the prudent to prepare for what may be one of the most tumultuous economic periods in American history. Now, who's going to sound the alarm? Who's going to inform the older homeowner that there are, in fact, options to convert their housing debt into a non-recourse loan, one that does not require principal and interest payments each and every month? Is it going to be their financial advisor? Or how about their accountant? Will their mortgage broker, perhaps, who felt, you know, helped them refinance into a loan two years ago at a lower rate, are they going to enlighten them? Likely neither of these will. And that's where you, as a dedicated reverse mortgage professional, can begin reaching out to both homeowners and professionals alike before it's too late, much like Paul Revere. Now, have you been informing your local homeowners how they can offset inflation with a reverse mortgage, or have you begun to increase your efforts to have strategic alliances with financial professionals? You can tell us more in the comment section below. Also, you can watch today's episode and dozens of others earlier broadcasts 
that on our YouTube channel, Hackem World. Just click on the subscribe button. Each and every week, we bring you the latest reverse mortgage news that you can just simply listen to in our weekly podcast, Hackem World Weekly. Apple users can subscribe and listen on iTunes. Thank you for joining us and have a great week.